Bravo. Bravo. Bravo, everybody. Welcome to the channel. This is Near Fear, and today I'm doing a bit of GT6 commentary over the Fuji 300 kilometers here at the VRR Racing League, Virtual Reality Racing League. If you're new into racing on GT6 or you just want to get used to racing around other people, this is where you would start. Now, we only accept clean racers, so you'd have to send in, uh, we'd have to do a race test first, but nonetheless, back to the commentary, actually. Before we get into the commentary, we need to know a few things about the race, and one of them being that we do have qualifying balance enabled this race, so that means that the person that was on pole that we just flew past on the straight was about 40 kilograms lighter, I mean heavier, than myself, and uh, the person in front of me right now is actually about 20 to 30 kilos lighter. But they also did get qualifying ballast. They got about 20 to 30 kilos of qualifying ballast. And they already had less horsepower. So that solves that as Andrew comes out the corner and almost completely loses the rear end. Luckily she saves it as we make a drag race down to the start-finish stretch. And I am... Taking a little bit of a whiff up the inside, breezing right past as she sets up for the run onto turn one. I break slightly early and she breaks very, very late, running a bit wide and handing me the position straight back where I say, thank you very much, you are so kind. Going past the first time marker, we're going to cut on to the end of lap three where we make a run to come across the line, setting just about a 137 flat with a 1.3 second lead to second place. So we're not doing so bad, we've made up two positions at the start of the race after qualifying third, and we just need to keep pushing, keep it consistent, keep it quite clean, and we should be able to pull a win out of our hats as we cut to lap five. We're just ever so slightly just fly past the apex and cause us to run wide and we come over and have to lift a bit because we do not need any penalties this race, any track extensions as we set the slowest lap of the race so far, however, um, second place has set the fastest lap of the race with a 136.6 and is trailing behind us less than a second away. So. We're currently in push mode, trying to gain as much time as we can as we come across the first time marker one more time to see that our gap has increased back to a 1.3 second gap, which is pretty good at this stage of the race. We just need to keep it consistent. Here, cutting to lap 8, we've set fastest lap of the race of a 136.4, which is pretty good, and we've built ourselves a 1.5 second gap to second place and even more to the rest of the field. We're going to come on over to lap 13 where we finally caught up to some GT300 cars as we come around the final corner to uh, slowly catch up Doom right here. Now you get to see the difference between the GT500 and the GT300. That extra 150 horsepower just makes them sitting ducks on the straightaway. And it's almost quite sad really because Quite a few of these guys are a bit faster than me, and I'm just kind of passing them like there's n there's just nothing to it. As I break into turn one, car's a little bit squealy there. The LSD will be doing a lot of work as we come to size up Trope 29 to get around the GT300 cars as lap traffic. Trope 29, if you haven't already, go ahead and check him out. Subscribe to him. He does have quite a few from the GTA videos. As we have a 3.6 second gap to second place, which is increasing so we are doing quite a good job of it so far here we're sizing up gtp bambi who is holding the inside giving us all of the room that we need to just go around the outside and go on down the straight no incidents no bumps and no love taps good job bambi going on to lap 18 we've caught up to more GT300 cars. It looks like we've caught up to Doom again as he's having a terrible race going off the track and passing Jack Supermac on the inside, giving him as much room as possible as we go around the outside for the next corner. And Jack just comes over and squeezes just a bit. 
not too much. We have no damage. We're not flying off the course, but we have completely startled and scared the living bejesus out of a small GT300 as we come in on the end of lap 28 to complete our first pit stop of the race, considering doing a two-stop strategy due to the fuel size, and we are prepping for the fuel. We're going to put in about 50, 59, 58 liters of fuel as we come in. Lollipop Man ready, Jack Man ready, and they are valiantly going to work on my car as we sit in the pits trying to effectively put a stop to this undercut that Angel in second place has got on us as the Lollipop Man lifts his lollipop. We get to go down the long Fuji straight away. I don't know who invented this thing in a pit limit that's so far down the straight, but whatever. Coming across the first timing marker, we can see that we are just about six and a half seconds ahead, 6.6 .6 seconds, which is a very comfortable lead at this stage in the race. We're about halfway done with it here on lap 29 slowly catching the back of some GT300 cars as we cross the line setting a 135.8 dead which is the fastest lap of the race once again as we look, think of going on the inside of Pico and decide against it because dive bombing this stage could completely ruin our race and our strategy as we come in in lap 55 for the final pit stop of the race putting in 35 liters that is just enough fuel and last stint wasn't so entertaining there were a few bad laps a few good laps but um not much action as we've pulled a 59 second lead due to the 20 second lead and the overcut that we've just pulled off coming out of the pits now just anxious to get out waiting to pull off this pit number and keep it on going keep it on choo choo training down the straight away Coming out of the pits, the little clear track, we uh, go into the braking zone and make it for turn one. Cutting to the next lap, we've set a 206, which is not the best out lap that I've had, but it, it does well enough as we um, break into the first corner, miss the apex, but just manage to make the corner and continue on to the first sector. I believe we're sizing up, I think that's Jack, jack o right behind jack o with about a 24 second lead to second place, so we've successfully put this race in the bag, the only thing we need to manage is our tires, our fuel, and to keep our noses relatively clean as we come across the line, winning the Fuji 300 kilometers, setting the fastest lap of a 130 Five, seven. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to. Check out VRR Racing League for Sunday races in the afternoon. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Later.